welcome to Trisha's Makeup World. If you're new to the channel, hi, I'm Trisha and this is Pep. I absolutely love colourful makeup and today I'm going to be playing with, I have Glam Lights, um, that's part of their collection. I have the palette and I have, it's like the, a lip, yeah like a lip kit, it's like a lip, liquid lipstick and pencil I would say. I have played with this a few times. If you've seen my shorts, um, I have played with it a few times. It's so cool. Look at the palette. If you do that and then you lift it up, you just take the plastic out. And this is it here. It's a very cool toned palette. It has like um, a lot of sort of greys, even sort of almost like a bluey grey, these tones here. This shimmer here is very sort of purpley looking silver this one's sort of bluey silver yeah it's it's nice i thought what we could do is we could do two looks i will try and do something that's a bit more every day-ish i say every day-ish but it's maybe still quite glam and then we'll do like probably my usual makeup crease <laughs> uh, and we'll um yeah we'll just get stuck in i did film <laughs> Not that long ago, uh, with the um, Mad Beauty Scooby Doo one, um, I was dressed up as Daphne. <laughs> um, I do have, um, I think I said in my pre in the last video that I have Artitude Cosmetics new one coming, um, Obsessions. I have got her previous one, Manny Arn. I absolutely love this one. Obsessions, I would say, is more sort of autumn sort of colours, you know fall we say autumn in the uk americans say fall it's like yeah very sort of colors the tones are sort of, of dark sort of yeah autumn and fall i also have um revolutions wizard of oz uh, collection coming as well that is more a christmas collection um but it's november now <laughs> it's yeah getting close to christmas anyway I'm going to jump right in and I think the first shade that I'm going to use, I don't know if I'm going to be able to read these, I really should have my glasses on, no sorry, I think the first colour we're going to go is this one and I'm going to go in with more of a, a fluffy brush and we're going to take it into the corners, yeah I'm going to use, I'm just going to wipe it off actually because it looks like it's still got colour from the previous, this one here and we're going to go into this darker shade down here. And we're going to just, in the corner, and just like work it around. Almost like a, a C shape. <laughs> sort of. Or a moon shape. Or, yeah. And we'll do the same on the other side. I'm just kind of like stamping this colour on. Um, we'll bring it, bring it in a little bit. Like so. Yes, this is obviously from the film, well, films, Scream. Um, I remember when the first one came out, going to see it at the cinema, and I absolutely loved it. I had it on video. It was one of my, you know, favourite scary movies. I'm not really into, I think I've said in my previous videos, I'm not really into really scary films. I don't like... I can't stand that one where she climbs out the TV. What's that? The ring. That absolutely freaks me out completely. I really, really don't like it. Um, and I think I've said in previous videos as well, but my sister put on a film called Drag Me to Hell. That really haunted me and was very, very scary as well. I'm not keen on... What's the other one? I've, I've watched it with Alan. Um, Jeepers Creepers. I don't like that thing. That thing is scary extremely scary that <laughs> kind of haunted me when he put that on as well um yeah i'll just hit pack this on so i to look quite even A wipe I've kind of brought that down too far on this side. There we go. But yeah, it will be 
Christmas palettes next, won't it? Everybody, everybody will be bringing out their Christmas. I think we're going to go into this shade, then this shade, maybe, I think. Yeah. No, actually, we're going to just go into this one next. And I'm just going to start to try and blend it. I've seen this as an everyday look. It's quite dark, is it? <laughs> Maybe not quite an everyday look. But you could, I mean, you could put like a shimmer all over your lid, you know. Uh, and that would be fine for like more of an everyday. And then I'm going to go into another fluffy brush, a slightly bigger one, and I'm going to go into this shade. Yeah, I remember seeing the, the very first screen that's got like Neve Campbell, Courtney Cox, David Arquette, Skeet Ulrich. Uh, I think it's Matthew Lillard because they're 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 the people that are the bad people, uh, and. It's got Drew Barrymore in it at the beginning. Um, yeah. I remember really, really liking it a lot. My sister, I can remember her being quite young actually. Her and her pal Kirsty sitting putting it on and <laughs> repeating the same bit over and over again. The bit where the, they're phoning up Drew Barrymore's character and saying, What's your favourite scary movie? And being, I mean, it would have only been a primary school really really young and been right into it my sister does like scary films or she really really likes i'm not really a fan of scary at all cheesy scary scream urban legends i know what you did last summer halloween friday the 13th to me they're quite cheesy you know um these colours to blend. I think they actually look quite good and I think what I'll do is we'll run the dark. I think we'll go for this one. This is like a dark bluey grey colour. As I, I In my previous looks I've blended it out with that and it does look kind of sort of bluey grey. It's quite nice. Uh, I think yeah I think we'll run that underneath. And we'll probably will blend it out with that lighter one to get that sort of bluey grey. Now I know not everybody likes cool tone palettes because it's all to do with your skin colour. You know what I mean? Some people might think, oh I don't really suit those shades. I don't mind them. I'm fair skinned so yeah. It doesn't... Looks not... Well I think it looks okay on you anyway. <laughs> um, I'd anybody say that it doesn't. Then we'll go into this one here. But yeah, I think next week I'll, I'll film with the Attitude Cosmetics one and I'll also probably film with the Revolution Wizard of Oz collection as well. I think I've said in the previous vi videos about the revolution being hit or a miss for me. Um, I usually enjoy their collabs, you know, more. Um, so I've got, I've got a few. I think what I've got. I've got their Monsters University. I have Clueless. I have Bratz. I have Grease. Now the Grease one, I really, really enjoyed that a lot. Um, now 
those shimmers. I think we'll do this one and this one. And I'll be, I've just sprayed my brush with um, it's just a setting spray which I think I maybe got from Poundland a while ago <laughs> and no it wasn't a pound <laughs> I think it was actually more than a pound That when you wet them, it seems to go on a bit better. But I'm finding that with these anyway. Yeah, it's quite nice. And then I'll spray it again, and I'm going to go into it. It looks almost purpley now that I'm looking at it in the palette. This one, so I've used that one, and I'm now going into this one now. I'm just going to put that. In. just to blend into that darker edges kind of thing not completely over it because I still want to see I'm probably going to go back in actually with my darker shade um, just to yeah keep it quite dark that's quite nice actually yeah I'm liking that okay next we will go in with the lip kit that I have. Um, it comes like that and you pull it out. It's very nice with the blood dripping. It's obviously meant to be like the you know the, the from the knife after the ghost face thing stabbing them. <laughs> Actually quite a nice pencil and quite funny with pencils sometimes I find them you know certain ones to be quite drying but that's actually quite nice and then we'll go in with the liquid lipstick um I've really been enjoying this as well I really like the bit that you apply it with I like that as well. It's not too dry. Yeah, it's nice. Uh, next, let's go in with a mascara. And I, I'm still I'm back to using my Essence Lash Princess one because my daughter, I don't know what she's done with my Hamish one. I got a Hamish one sent to me from Hamish. I got a few bits and pieces. I've actually done a review um, on here. Um, they sent me a few of the products. Um, I think I got like the cleansing balm, and it's, I, I put it underneath my foundation. Actually, do you know what? Um, my foundation. I'm still using the Revlon Color Stay, and I do have. This is it here, the Hamish. Um, I think it's Artless Tinted Cream. I've been using it as a primer. It's got uh, SPF. In it as well. I I like it. It's quite sort of pearlescent, and it gives off like a sort of a dewy glow. I know that's not to everybody's liking. It depends on your skin type, really. I've got combination. I've got a bit of both. Like I have um slightly dry areas, and I also have oily bits as well. I'm a bit weird. <laughs> We're using the P. Louise Pro Lashes again. Uh, I think we're going to go into 
these ones. Cue the curl. Yesterday, I, had, I don't know what was up with my eyes, but when I was trying to put eyelashes on, they were just not sticking. It was this eye, just this eye here, just would not stick in the corner. I don't know what was going on. I think my eyelashes were on and off a few times. Watch somebody using um, it was Huda Beauty's new one. I can't remember something something grunge it's called. I actually quite like the look of it. I'm not really into neutrally palettes, but it looked quite nice. Um, I do have some of her palettes. I think there's like a blush that changes colour or a highlighter or something I noticed as well in the collection. Looks quite nice. When I first seen it, I, I kind of thought it looked a wee bit like the Natasha Denona new one, Xenon, but it's not. The Xenon one is more sort of greys, you know, whites, you know, more cool toned, whereas the Huda one is a little bit more neutral and it does have sort of mauves and purples. There's a few different colours in there that you can do with the lashes on. That's not quite right. That's it now. Okay, and then we're going to go into my Jenna tutorial palette. The reloaded one, I love use. I use this every day. Every day I use this for my brows. I always use these sort of ones in, in here for my brows. <laughs> I'm going to use this blush and this highlight. Um, And we'll go in with a bit of highlight. Not on the end of the nose. I'm just gonna lightly like stripe, <laughs> blend it in a bit. And that is my look with my first look <laughs> with the Ghost Face collection from Glam Light. Um, I really like it so far. Um, what I'll do is I will jump off, take this look off, and I'll be back again to film the next look. See you later. Bye. back again and we'll just jump right in. I've, what I've done is I've kept the lipstick on, I didn't because I thought oh, I'm going to be using this one again so I thought oh, I'll just keep it on. Um, but I think this time around what we're going to do is we're going to do a cut crease with the palette and I think we just we'll start with this colour again. Actually no, we're going to start with this one here. It's more like a dark, it almost looks like a navy, bluey grey colour um, and I'm going to go in with my little angled brush and I'll just start creating the shapes that we want. I always try to go above when I'm doing like a shape like this. Even any kind of, you know, like makeup look, I always go above my, um, like your crease. Just to open up the eyes more because, yeah, we're being a bit older. I do have faded eyes and, well, yeah, they're quite wrinkly. <laughs> Just a little bit. 
see, I always go above my crease line. So make sure that they're both even. Let me just Now I don't know, when I'm putting this on it kind of looks like a really dark bluey grey colour there. Okay. And then we will go in with a little fluffy brush and we will use this one. And we'll just The same on the other side. I'm basically kind of sort of overlapping the previous colour. I'm just trying to blend it out a bit for this for this other colour. Have you seen the She Glam Care Bear collection? That's really cute. I really like that a lot. Um, I'm actually contemplating if I should get that because I, I do really like it. I think she glams okay. I've got actually quite a lot of their, I've got a few of their collections actually. I've got a Halloween one. The palette looks like a spider web. I've got their corpse. Is it their corpse bride? No, it's Revolution's corpse bride. I have, God, I can't remember the one that they released last year. My sister got it for me for my Christmas. That's really, really nice. It's like a palette and lip glosses. I think there might be eyeliners in it as well. I can't remember. But they have, they've had a few. They've had a Harry Potter collection. And then I'm going to go into the even lighter shade here, this one. Um, yeah, the, some of the makeup's not bad. I've got a few like they're, they do some really nice liquid blushes that are quite nice. Some of their eyelashes are actually really nice as well. I remember buying a set and had lashes with like little butterflies on the end of it. And I'm pretty sure that there was another set that had like sort of pink tips. And then there was half lashes. The half lashes, I absolutely loved them. Absolutely loved. I was able to reuse them a good few times as well. Yeah, quite a few... What other lashes from them before as well, like the colourful ones for Halloween that have been really good. And they do, so if you want to apply gems to look as well, their gems are quite good as well. My hair looks a mess because I had a, a wig on from the Scooby Doo look earlier. That's looking kind of even. And I think underneath we will just do that dark sort of blue colour this one here again and then we'll uh, yeah we'll use this one and then this one to blend out underneath as well I think I'm going to try some more glam light I, I, I do really really like their formula it's really really nice so far it's so good <laughs> um I've had a few collections eh, that I've always been like, oh, should I try it? Should I try it? They, they did a strawberry shortcake one a while ago that I thought was really, really cute. Um, they did a Rick and Morty one. That was, the palette looked really, really cool. They've done a couple of Scooby-Doo collections as well that have looked really, really good. They've done, I think last year they did Chucky. I think they did that at Valentine's Day, which is a bit strange. I think that'd be more of a Halloween palette, but, oh well. <laughs> but yeah, I'm really, really liking their formula. Right, next, shimmers. Um, I'm going to oh, spray it again with my 
set and spray. Now, you could go in and cut your crease um, with like a, a base, you know, but I'm not going to, I'm just going to skip that. I'm using a flat brush. <laughs> uh, I think this time we're going to go into this shimmer. Here, I think. Here. And we'll see what that one's like. It's more of a, I don't know, like a silvery blue colour, but oh, I kind of broke the pan. Oops. And I'm just going to follow my shape again. Like so, and turn it around. If you wanted to be a bit more precise, then yeah, you could you could go in. I use P. Louise's Cut Carver when I want to be a bit more precise. Yeah, I've used Vaseline, I've used micellar water on a cotton bud. I've done, you know, there's various different ways you could do it if you want to be a little bit more precise with your shape. I'm kind of looking more for a softer uh, uh, finish to my look. I'm not wanting it being too precise now. Do I want to add another shimmer? No, we're just going to keep it like that. I know what we could maybe do. We could maybe on the bottom I'm going to just wet this one. We could maybe try this one. Run it on the bottom just to see. I don't even think it's doing anything. <laughs> yeah, don't think I did anything. In my inner corners, I am going to go in with my Jenna Tutorials palette. Uh, I'm going to use, because I just don't think, for this look, I, will, I want to, I'm going to use that one. Um, this one here. Uh, the bottom, what I put on my cheeks usually. I'm going to put that on in my inner, just to brighten that bit. Yeah, that's better. I just think I feel that the shimmers in there are maybe just a little bit too dark for going in my inner corners for this look. And then we will go in with the Essence Princess last bleh, Essence Print in Essence Lash Princess mascara. I don't know what happened there. I was getting my words all muddled there. Um. And we will go in with this blush up here, I think, for change rather than the pink. Okay. I'm going to go in with my highlight. It's just the usual one, the one that I put in my inner corners. A little bit on the nose. I still have to. I haven't even got eyelashes on yet, have I? <laughs> right, eyelashes next. Let's go into the P. Louise palette again. Um, I think for this we need something a little bit more dramatic, don't we? I think we might use these ones up here. Blinking Beauty, they're called. Now these ones here, sorry. Um, we'll see what they're like. I usually use um, the Tatty Lashes TL3, they're my favourite. I do quite like Unicorn Cosmetics eyelashes as well. I'm quite particular about eyelashes. I don't like if they've got like a thick band. I don't like if they've got a scratchy feeling to them either. Right. 
try them. Okay. Okay. Oh, they're all quite easy actually. Yesterday I was having a nightmare with lashes that just were not sitting right. It was this eye. I was having a nightmare with it. I don't know why, but I was. Didn't matter what I did, they just didn't sit right. But the, it, it was the corner. It just kept coming away. I was like, what, what is going on there? Yeah, that's all right. And that is my final look. I've really been enjoying this palette. I really like it. I like the design. I think that is absolutely fantastic. Look, when you do that, it shifts and everything. I think the palette itself is really, really, I mean, the shimmers um, are so pretty, so, so pretty. I, I like this one, this one, and this one. They sort of shift, they're like shifty shadows and, well, the mattes, they blend really, really easily. And then, well, the lip kit as well, I really like it a lot. I mean, this is from the last look. <laughs> it still looks okay. Uh, this will be okay until I basically take it off to go to bed. And I like how it feels as well on the lips. Some like liquid lipsticks can be quite drying. And I don't like when they're like that on the lips. And don't get me started on these plumping things. I just don't like them. Don't like them. I don't like how they tingle on your lips. It just, no, it's, they're just not for me. Anyway, I hope you like what I've, um, the looks that I've created today. I will be back again next week with the Artitude Cosmetics palette and probably the Wizard of Oz collection as well. I, I don't know which one. I don't know what looks are going to go up for. I'm trying to do two, two videos a day, basically, and try and get them up. Like, do one at the weekend and get another one up during the week. So I don't know which ones are going to be going up first. Uh, but yeah, I will be back again next week with another video. Bye!